Welcome. You're in the teaching kitchen with Chef Kenny Woods. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to make hummus, but not any type of hummus, one using cauliflower instead of your traditional garbanzo beans. Let's get started. Hummus is one of my favorite condiments to use at home. I use it as a dip, use it on sandwiches as a spread, use it as a great source of protein, and it's really simple to make. I'll very expensive in the store too. You'll see organic hummus is going from seven to ten dollars and a recipe like this is going to be a fraction of the cost. So to introduce our ingredients we're going to substitute again our cauliflower for our beans. So I've steamed this cauliflower for three minutes and then I've shocked it in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. So when you start this recipe it's cold, it's not hot. We have some fresh lemon juice, nutritional yeast, miso, salt, roasted garlic, tahini, and the oil from the roasting of the garlic. Now in the recipe, very simplistic way to making the roasted garlic. Take your garlic, peel it, cut off the ends, put it into a pot, bring it to a boil, turn it off, let it infuse and cool down and strain it. So we're using that part of the recipe in this hummus as well. Now to start, we need a blender and a spatula and that's it. Everything else, very simplistic. So now we're gonna start I'm going to take the lid off of our blender and making sure I'm present. All the dials are turned to low. I don't want the hummus to be on the ceiling. I want it to be in my stomach. So now we're going to add our steamed and cooled cauliflower, our lemon juice. And it's always important to do fresh than to buy the lemon juice. It has such better flavor and not as acidic as when you buy it. So always do fresh. I'm going to add our roasted garlic, our salt, and next we're going to add our miso. Now you can use a red miso, you can use a chickpea miso, you can use any type of miso. I like to go with just a very simple neutral white miso for this. Nutritional yeast, which is going to bring us really nice earthiness to the hummus. Tahini, and what tahini is, tahini is ground sesame seeds. So think peanut butter, but with sesame seeds, that's what tahini is. So we're gonna add that tahini, we're gonna scrape, make sure, because all the sesame seeds are kind of sitting at the bottom. It's been blended, but it'll separate. So we wanna make sure we scrape all that goodness in there. And last but not least, our reserved garlic oil from cooking the confit garlic. We're gonna add that in. And now we're going to blend till smooth. Now we've blended our hummus to smooth, we're gonna plate it. So getting our spatula, I'm just gonna plate this into a bowl. As you can see, it's really creamy, it's really smooth, and looks like traditional uh, Mediterranean hummus. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. I have a little bit of extra. Keep that on the side for another application. And as you see today, I'm just serving it with my favorite vegetable crudite. So I have some heirloom carrots, some peppers, and cucumbers. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of smoked paprika. A little bit of toasted sesame seed to bring that sesame flavor back up. And then just a tiny bit of olive oil drizzled just to really get that olive oil flavor right up front. So very simple application, very simple recipe. If you wanna add more spice to the cauliflower base, if you wanna add some chilies to it, more garlic, you can even add a green to this to really give some herbaceousness to it. World's your oyster on that. But this simple recipe will be able to transcend hummus in a different way, not using garbanzos and using cauliflower. Eat well live well.